Oh, you're so done, Jay. So done. Jay, you're so done. Just like the title says, welcome back to Clay and Shick Outdoors. Jay vs. Clay, he talked so much smack the last competition. I laid the challenge down because I only caught two walleyes at last competition. I'm like, you know what, Jay? I'm going to redeem myself in a big way. Most walleyes in eight hours. Let's go. That's it. Like, it's on. He talks so much smack. So much smack. I prepared for this, like, more than ever. I've got four rods here ready to go. Two slip bobbers. Two regular jigs. It's going to be on, like, Donkey Kong. I'm calling it now. I'm going to catch 100 walleye today. Jay, you don't stand a chance unless you catch 101. The gauntlet's been thrown. It's 11.15, I've got 45 minutes till our competition. So I'm going to drive around, I'm gonna check up on a few of my spots with the side imaging, see if our, our marks are there, see if our fish are there. We've got a nice breeze today. It's supposed to get pretty windy, but with the talon and the shallow water bite, I feel confident. Jay keeps using this word. Volatile? Walleyes in the shallows are volatile. He's like learning a new word this year, volatile. It's a big word for him. He's, he's like texted it to me. He's used it on his videos. In my experience, I'm a little more volatile. It, it's a new word for him. Give the guy some credit. He finally learned a new word. Well, Jay, I'm going to show you today something a little special. Walleyes and under, let's see, anything under 10 feet today. I'm, I'm not going to fish any deeper than 10 feet. I'm going to destroy you. You can call it cocky. I will call it confident. Walleyes are volatile in the shallow water, Clayton. I don't think that's a good idea. You're probably going to fail. I'll show you, Jay. I'll show you who's going to fail. There's some fish. One, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like a pot of walleyes there. We will put a waypoint on that to come back to probably later. So what's Jay versus Clay if you're new to this? We've already done one video or one episode, whatever you want to call it. Yes, I lost. It happened. It's over. Don't worry about it. Every competition is going to be different. Last one was the five biggest walleyes. This one today is the most walleyes in the boat. The only thing that counts is walleye. It's got to be in your hand and then released. Rules for today, we're fishing eight hours, 12 to eight o'clock. We have check-in periods at two o'clock and four o'clock. And then we'll fish the last four hours blind, not knowing what each other has. And you have to go over to his video to see my to see his end results and obviously if you're watching my video you're going to see my end results so i'll know what he has in numbers of fish at four o'clock in it'll give me a good indication of what's to what's to come i would imagine that his numbers are going to probably increase throughout the day i'm not sure what's going to happen with mine i know if i find them and if they're where they should be right now where i had them in pre-fish that i could put some ridiculous numbers on the board. The talon is gonna play a huge factor because it's supposed to get windy. I'm gonna be able to anchor in the shallow water, hold myself, the splash guards are gonna be so handy today. I might not move for eight hours. If there's fish transitioning through a couple of the points that I wanna fish or the main one, ooh, there we go, what's that? Some rocks maybe? Those, are, those look more, that's a fish. That could be a fish. That one looks more like a rock though. Sorry, got excited. Like I said, though, I might not move. I might not. Might not move at all. We shall see. We shall see. Oh, look at, there they are. There's my fish. That's, that's it. That's the spot. I found, the, it's it. That's it. Right there, right there. 20 minutes. I'm going to anchor. I'm going to wait. We have two minutes of the competition. Head cameras going on. I'll have the other cameras obviously rolling too. We'll make the best out of whatever we can. Jay's still talking smack. Listen to his last text. This is unreal. Unreal. He's quite the guy. Quite the guy. Fish are snapping. Stopped at a new spot along the way. This should be easy. Sure you don't want to do six hours? It'd be less pain for you. Fish moving through steady on that side imaging. As soon as that clock turns to 12, we're chucking. Oh, I'm so excited. 12, 12, 12, first cast. I didn't catch a fish first cast, that's not good. I should have caught one first cast, I didn't. I didn't. Just pick a different spot, Clayton. Don't panic, don't panic. I should have caught a fish already. 
I should have caught a fish. Not good, Clayton, not good. Don't panic, though. Don't panic. Not good, not good, not good, not good. Not good, not gonna panic, though. Not gonna panic. There we go. There we go. Took a bit. Small one, small one. We're gonna flip them. We're gonna flip them. We're up. We're on the board. We're on the board. We're on the board. On the board. Took a bit. For, took four casts. But that's one. That's one. One down. 99 to go. Oh, yeah. Game plan. Try the bobber now. Try the bobber. Got to remember your game plan, Clayton. Oh, bobber's down. Bobber's down. Bobber's down. Bobber's down. Yes. 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 Number two. This is good now. I was a little panicked for a second that the fish I was marking weren't biting. I got some more confidence now. I was such a, that first one was such a light bite, like hardly picked it up. I've got wind, brutal wind. So I'm gonna keep my back to the wind almost all day so my audio stays decent. Oh, why didn't I net this one? I'm gonna have to net some of these fish. That one was a little bit too big to flip probably. It's fish three though, bobber, other bobbers ready. Let's throw this fish back, toss the other rod out. Fish three, number four. I gotta clean that lens off. Here we go. They're up maybe a bit shallower. Maybe they're even shallower than I thought. Okay. I didn't hold that one up to the camera, but that was five. Five, it'll be on the GoPro in there. Yes. Right underneath the boat. Yes. Yes. There we go. Oh, yeah. Oh boy, oh boy. Fish six is a decent one right there. 21 inch or something like that. Fish seven. Fish eight's a pretty nice one. Number nine, Jay, number nine. Fish 10 as the winds pick up. So does the fishing. Jay, are you worried yet? I would be. 10 fish an hour would be amazing. I might not move. There is fish everywhere right now. Left, right, forward, straight, backwards, shallow, deep, everywhere. There we go. Fish number 11. Yeah. They're right below me. The fish are right below me right now. Oh, and they're nice too. Jay's probably catching nothing but 10 inches and I'm catching quality walleyes. Fish 12. Yes. Come on, baby. Where are you? I feel like I need to net this one. Why is he so squirmy? 13. Jay said he was gonna pick the windiest day possible for me. He wanted all the advantage in the world. I'm not surprised, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. He even told me I, I couldn't fish with hawks. Number 14. 15. Oh, I got water everywhere. Fish 16. Shallow water, they put up such a scrap. 16 fish in an hour and a half, why would you move? Stay right there, pound them all day, Clayton. Fish 17, save my leech. Oh, I am on. I am on right now. On like Donkey Kong. 18. Every type of competition tournament, you always need a different type of strategy. Game plan. I'm not looking for big fish right now. 19, little guys have feelings too. Fish 20, tiny guy. The wind is insane. Did I mention the wind was insane? Have I said that it's a little bit windy? Did I ever mention it was windy? Fish number 21. Size doesn't always matter. Fish 22, baby. Throwing out the bobber and setting Jay. My update. Haven't even got my update for Jay and I'm already on again. Fish number 23. Hi Clayton. Hope you're doing well. Checking in, end of period one. Didn't do great. Didn't do awful. We got 14 walleye. No saugers, couple bass. Uh, yeah, 
Hope this wind is treating you well. Hope you're catching some fish. See you in two hours. Jay, I have a little bit too much wind. Little bit too much. I'm not moving for this whole period. I'll decide what to do after I see the results of the next period. 24. Oh, it's on like, this one's got a little bit of weight to him. A little bit. This one's not a, this one is not a flipper. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, that's a good one too. Almost botched the net job on that one. But 25 is 25. Okay, girl. Okay. Nice. Oh, bob her down, bob her down, bob her down. Yeah, little guy, get in here, yes! 26, I apologize for any water spots. I'm trying to keep it clean as I can. Look at this, I'm not gonna talk into the wind here right now, but I'm gonna turn around and show you what I'm dealing with. The splash guards in the talon are so amazing. Okay, one more cast with the bobber, and then back to the jig again. Yes. Little, oh no, that one was so little, so little, so little, so perfect. The fish was so perfect. Fish 27. Slow down for me a little bit, but not bad. It's 230. 28. Fish 29. There we go. They are shallow right now, like shallow, shallow. We are at fish 30. That's making a mess out of the lens. I'll clean it again. I'm doing the best I can, you guys, in this wind. It is a battle, but we are at fish 13, or 30, sorry. That means Jay had to already double what he's caught in the morning. <laughs> fish 31. 32. 33. I've got fish just moving through here steady, steady. Just on their highway right now. I'm on their highway. You know what my goal is? My goal is to decimate Jay so bad that I catch more fish in four hours than he does in eight hours. So he already knows by the end of his day that he's already been beaten. That would be the best. Like payback Jay, Payback's gonna be good for you. You talk, you talk so much smack, payback is gonna feel so good. By the way, I just fighting fish number 34. I have a feeling, Jay, like my average size is probably way better than yours too. Have a great day, girl. The black line right here, that's shore. These are all fish swimming by. White specks, these are all fish just swimming by here. Like, no wonder, no wonder. 35. Hook just fell out, 36. I am on my game right now though, like on it, on it! On it right now! I love competitions, I love it! It's all fun. I got a few comments last time, I had no energy level. You know what, I was drained last time. Those are the highs and the lows of competition fishing. Fish 37, just a little guy. It's a Jay Siemens fish. 38. Insane, look at this. Bang, 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 bang. Just insane. A fish on the right too. Got him, got him. 39. Fish number 40, 40. It's time to clean my lens again, I guess. I could take a five minute break here. No, who am I kidding? I'm gonna throw my jig, then clean the lens. See you, 40. At 50 fish, we'll take a short break and we'll discuss what I've been doing and how I've adapted my game plan just a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh no, again. Number 41. 42. Small, 43. 
44. Number 45. 46. 47 with a wet camera lens. 48's a gooder. That's fish 49. Thank you. We are on them. We are on them. Like just crushing. One more fish. We're going to take a quick break. Talk about what we're doing here. I'll throw Bobber out. Jay's going to need a big, big, big period to pull in front of what I got right now. Needless to say, if I keep this pace up, he can't catch me. The only way he can catch me is if my, my pace falls off a bit. And he has a big period. If I keep this up, there's no way. Maybe I run out of leeches. Maybe that's his way to catch me. Oh, that's little guy, but crazy. Okay, that's fish. Fish 50 is a little guy. I'm going to throw a bobber out and explain what I'm doing here. We're crushing it, though. Simple. I came with the, the game plan to slip bobber like I have one right now and jig and kind of cast, change it up a little bit. My plan was honestly was to slip bobber more. I was on a really good slip bobber bite, I felt like, but this wind, honestly, it's just too fast for it. It's like, it's ripping that bobber out so quick. So I went down to a small one eighth ounce bite me jig here. Color doesn't really matter as much. This one I'm gonna change because the hook keeps kind of bending out now. It's beat up, it's got 30 some fish. And with a leech, and these leeches right here, I don't have a lot left, which isn't a good sign for me. I've trapped these myself. That's why, that's why I can go through them like this because the leeches are expensive. Like a dozen leeches is like five bucks or a pound for 50. So you go through them quick. I've caught 50 fish, but probably gone through 65, 70 leeches because I've missed quite a few too. Lots of smaller fish, they bite them off. But all I'm doing is trying to pitch it out I'm trying to cast with the wind as much as I can because you don't have a big bow in your line, but at times I'm trying to work everything I'm casting out the side too. And because of the braided line, you feel everything. This line is so good. 10 pound, 10 pound Power Pro Super Slick. I love it. And then I have tied on here a six or an eight pound floral. I think I got an eight pound floral right now. I just connect it with a uni to uni knot. It's here somewhere right here, right there. Uni to uni knot. That's all I'm doing. Like I said, the bow in the line with the wind sucks, but the braided line, you can feel the pickups usually. And then you either reel until you get tight or you just try to jam it really good and that braided line won't stretch and you're hoping to be able to connect on it. If you got a lot of bow, you're, when you jam it, you're gonna end up just giving, you're gonna have a big pull, but by the time it gets to the fish, it's gonna be a tiny little pull and it's just gonna come right out of its mouth. I'm going to change up the jig. Oh, the other thing I'm doing too is I'm putting on bait buttons. I had to take them out of the out of the case right now because I dipped it in my leech water, but there are these little buttons you can see there and they just go on the end of your jig to keep your bait on because in Manitoba here I have to fish barbless barbless hooks. So yes, I'm at 353 50 fish. I'm about to send an update to Jay. Things are good. Things are good. Fish 51. Yo, oh, bobber. I'm just gonna have a Gatorade here. Where's my bobber? Oh yeah. <laughs> I just sent my update to Jay that I had 51 fish and literally, I mean literally, 10 seconds after I sent him my update, I score another fish. Poor guy. Fish 52. Life is so good right now. I've got the bobber out, enjoying myself a fat piece of watermelon. Not good for Jay. I'm gonna roll his clip right now. We'll see what he's got going on. Well, Mr. Schick, the pace is picking up. We found him now, you better be worried. 37 on the board, and you are once again so lucky that saugers don't count. We will, uh, that's it. Good luck for the rest of your four hours. Peace. I don't get a CJ's video right now because we got no cell phone, cell phone service. We're messaging through Garmin inReach, but like I, that video clip he made for me, so I, haven't even, I won't see it yet. 
but I do know what he's at. He's at 37, so he's picking up the pace. 37, and he had what, 14? So do the math, Clayton. He had what, 20, 23? 23 fish only? Poof! You're gonna need a big comeback, Jay. He's picking it up though. He's so far behind. There's only 14 fish behind. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. There's no doubt we have a competition on our hands though. Like no doubt. He's at 37. That's big. That's big. I'm gonna destroy you though, Jay. Yes. Fish 53. So I have no idea now what Jay's gonna have anymore, right? Like I have to stay, I need a bait button. I have to stay on the gas pedal. See, he catches 50 fish in his last two periods. It's 87 fish. I have to stay on the gas pedal. 100 fish is my goal. Don't stop. Biggest fear I have is the fish just being gone from this area. All of a sudden they leave. Then I have to spend time looking for him. Like that's where he could catch up, right? 54, 55, 56, 57. Windy as windy can be, but that's fish 58. 59. 60 is really tiny. Time for a lens wipe again. 61. I chose bait and leeches today for the reason that I don't think you can catch as many fish on artificials as you can on bait or as fast. 62. Fish. 63 is small. It's funny how different schools move through. I've literally missed about, I don't even know, five, six in a row. It's cutting into my leech supply. That's not good, but I'm at 63 at least. 64. 65. 66. 67. 68. Never have I been so happy to catch little fish right now. Fish 69. Fish 70. Stay on the gas pedal, Clayton. Stay on the gas pedal. There we go. Ooh, this one feels, yeah. No, never mind. That one is a little bit better. A little bit, I was wrong. Oh yeah. Yeah, I was wrong, it's a good one. Fish 71 is no slooch. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This one's better. Ooh, it's a nice fish, I think. Fish 73, my average size today has actually been pretty good. It's been pretty good. 74. There we go. This is a nicer one. Ooh, this is a good one. This is a good one. This is a good one. This one, this one feels good. Fought hard to stay with, now it's staying down. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Nice. Fish 75 is one of the biggest of the day. Beautiful fish. Pulling them out of like three feet of water. The shallow water bite is so volatile. Figure I can make fun of him after he makes fun of the hole. I'm gonna use a jig and a minnow and a jig and a minnow. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. When he rolled that clip, I laughed so hard. It was so good. So good. Like, ah, uh, so funny, Jay. So funny. 76. I love you, Jay. You're a nice guy. I just really wanna beat you this time. More than ever. 77. 78, 79, 79, fish 80, fish number 81, 
81. Could be 82. I could have messed up my count. 82. 83. Oh, we got a school of them right now. 84. 85. 86 is a tiny guy. 87, another tiny guy. Yes. Yes. A little bit nicer. Not giant though. Oh, I probably shouldn't flip that though. Probably shouldn't flip that though. Nice. Number 88 is what you would call the perfect eater. 89. Big and small, count them all. 90. Got him. Bite's getting aggressive right now, like really aggressive. Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. Nice one. Oh, biggest one of the day, 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 biggest one of the day. Look at this chunker. Yes, yes. 92 is a fat one, but, oh. Stop in my face for a watermelon, and I caught fish 93. Goodbye. Bite is on right now. Like on, on. I know I said that lots. Okay, bite's been on all day, but it comes and goes. Like, it's, as soon as it's in the water, it's instant. It's absolutely instant. 94, baby, 94. 96. 97, only three leeches left. 98 and save my leech. Boring video, right? Haven't moved at all. Never leave biting fish to find fish. Depends what kind of competition you're in though, I guess. 99. Oh, I did it. I got 100. I hit 100. 100, 100 walleyes. 100 walleyes and it took six hours and 40 minutes to hit 100 walleyes. This is literally my last leech. Hundred and one. Well, Clayton, this is where you need to shine. Anybody can catch them on bait, right? What about plastics though? Problem I find right now is these walleyes have wanted a pretty slow presentation for the most part, from what I can tell. And with the bait, with the leech, you can just pop your jig and let it sit there for a bit. With this, I gotta keep it moving steady. Cause if you just put it on the bottom, well, it'll just sit there. That's no good, right? There we go. I did catch one on the plastic. I got one on the plastic. I got some confidence now that I finally caught a fish on the plastic. That's good. That's good. Okay, oh, that's a little bit bigger than boat flipping. We did it. Caught one on the plastic. Can't say I'm just a live bait fisherman anymore, Jay. Cause that's fish 102, buddy. 103. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We got one. We got another one. Woo! Giant. Giant. Huge. Huge one. 104. Mm. And as if snap peas aren't one of the best boat snacks ever. Fish 105. Jay, if you're going to make a run for it, I'm definitely going to make you work for it. My hands, look at You're sore. Bleeding. Walleye hands, baby. 15 minutes. I need a couple more fish. I do not feel confident right now. I felt confident when I was catching them, like, oh boy. If I lose because I ran out of bait, this is gonna hurt more than anything. More than anything. 106. Yes, yes. A school of them must have moved in. I got 10 more minutes yet. Oh, come on, I dropped right on top of them. Yes, 
107 with nine minutes to go. Just in case, Jay. Just in case. Oh, I, I, you guys saw it here. 107. Two minutes. Oh, this last hour went by so slow. The first seven hours went by so fast. And this last hour has gone by so slow. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's going to be interesting to see if I miscounted anywhere when I'm watching the video, like whether I skipped a number or whether I missed the fish. It's very possible. Either or is possible. Your mind just like nonstop. I should have brought a clicker. I don't think I expected to catch 107 fish though. One minute. Well, Jay, I hope you had a good day. I hope you caught 106 fish. I hope you, uh, no, who am I kidding? I hope you crushed them. Now that it's over, it's eight o'clock. I can be friendly again. The competition side's over. Until the next one, of course, where I'm gonna destroy you again. I hope I destroyed you on this one anyway. You guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you go to Jay's video, which will be linked right here, and go see his uh, final results. We know he was at 37 fish at halfway through at four o'clock. We don't know his final results, so make sure you go watch that video. If you have more ideas for competitions for Jay and I, for Jay vs. Clay, leave them in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching, and don't forget, get outside.